It's not just sawmillers facing economic pain, but that hasn't stopped Tasmania's outgoing treasurer enjoying his last days in the role. Today, Michael Aird made his final public appearances before he's replaced on Monday. Ready to let someone else get behind the wheel. He's long been a Labor head kicker, but Michael Aird's last appearance as treasurer was a warm, fuzzy event in the heart of his Derwent electorate. This is water, by the way. Labor's confirmed interest in replacing Mr Ed from Derwent Valley Deputy Mayor Craig Farrell and 25-year-old government staffer Dean Winter. The successful candidate will be unveiled tomorrow. And the outgoing Treasurer is cold on rumours former Cabinet colleague David Llewellyn may stand. I genuinely believe this is an opportunity for generational change and renewal. Mr Ed also made his last ministerial appearance at Parliament for a committee examining tote Tasmania. He quickly blamed others for last year's failed sale of the gaming business, including the then Victorian government and his own colleagues. I'm not complaining about the parliamentary procedures, but the reality is the time delay uh, allowed others um, to get into a position where uh, they could start affecting um, the sale. There was a cast of thousands, but no minister, as the state's water and sewerage corporations were the next to face the music. A 5% cap on bill increases still has three years to run, but already there's concerns that a price spike could follow. What's going to happen when the price cap finishes? And I, I, don't, I don't think there's an answer to that, not an easy answer to that. The corporations are warning their owners, Tasmania's councils, may need to help foot the bill. The owners may have to um, take some of the burden as well. So the time to pay attention to this is now. This, this, this needs to be solved in the next six months. Clearly plenty of political water still to go under the bridge. Simon Fraser, ABC News.